So this is what you will learn how to make in this video. Try scanning if you don't believe me. But before starting the video, I am warning you, don't skip any part of this video. The process is not hard, but sure complicated. It's not gonna be that long and I will not waste your time on useless things. So watch full video and at the end, you'll be able to make these. It's completely free and no powerful device is required. We'll create two types of QR codes. Both have their own pros and cons. So without wasting more time, let's get started. These are the two images we are going to convert into QR codes. You can bring any image if you want, but remember that it should be in square image. If it's not square, then open the image. Click on this button and use this option to edit its aspect ratio. Here, select square and adjust the image into canvas. Then save it by clicking here. Now, we will bring the tool. And it's actually not an AI tool. Writing AI in the title helps reaching more people on YouTube, but the tool we are using today is a simple C++ program made for research purposes. But for now, let's assume it's an AI tool. The name of the tool is Halftone. I've given the link in the description. Use it to come to this page. This page contains a lot of information about this tool and QR codes. So read it if you want and come down to the bottom. Here's the download link for the generator. Wait for a few seconds and then click on download. After download, you'll see this zip file here. Extract it here. Now you can delete it if you want. In this folder, you'll see an installer and some manuals. Let's just install it. Click on yes. Next. Here, if you want it to be installed in custom folder, you can change it from here. I am gonna install it in downloads folder inside a folder named QR Coder. Next. And finally, install. It was fast. You'll see the launcher inside this folder like this, but there's a shortcut on the desktop as well. Now, to run it, right click and run it as administrator. It worked without running as administrator as well, but the manual said that we should run it as administrator, so let's just do it. Two windows will be open like this. The first one is just a note, but if we close it, then everything gets closed, so leave it as it is. There it is. The main interface is too simple, but it will become complicated later, so stay tuned. You can click a photo from your webcam by using this option, but we already have the square image, so we'll use this. But before that, we need to do one more thing. Here, you can see that the Mr. Beast image is transparent. We need transparent image to get better quality, so this Mona Lisa painting should be turned into transparent as well. For that, we can use an AI tool called remove.bg. Here, upload the photo and it will automatically convert it to transparent. As you can see, it's very accurate. Now download it. So since we have the transparent Mona Lisa now, let's import it to the tool by clicking here. Here, you have to select the extension of the image you are trying to import or it will not be visible by default. Transparent images are usually PNG, so don't get nervous if you don't know. Here we have it. In this option, we have to write the content if you paste a link in here, when someone scans the QR code, they will be automatically redirected to the link. But if you wanna write a message, simply write it here. Now we have these two options. This is the most necessary thing here. I wanted to explain everything about QR codes properly, but this video will probably be promoted to general audience and it'll be just boring for normal people. So I'm not gonna explain everything here. Instead, I will create a dedicated fun video about QR code and explain everything there. But for now, just understand that this version option decides how dense the result image should be. The more dense it is, the more close it looks to the original image. But due to this, it gets hard to scan this on a small devices or places. The lower the version is, it becomes easier to scan it, but it looks noisy. Both of them work, but QR codes with lower versions are better to place them at small places while higher versions are better for larger screens like PC monitor. Let's first create the most realistic one and then we'll play with other options. This DC level is the error correction level. L means low, M means moderate, Q means quartile, and H means high. If some parts of the QR code is damaged or distorted or not visible properly, this EC level decides if it will still work or not. High EC level means it stores more backup in the QR code and even if 30 of it is not visible or damaged, it will still be scanned. But this will make the QR code look more noisy than lower EC levels. But in our case, 
we are using images so even if it's noisy, it looks like an image, so let's use it. Now, click on this button to go ahead. Adjust the canvas as you want. We have lots of options here. This one enhances the result based on image features. This one is for generating colorful QR codes like this, but when I tried scanning colored QR codes, it didn't work. There may be some mistakes, but I think black and white ones are the best options. This one is to add contrast to the original image. It will make it easier for the program to create the result based on dark and light places. And this one is for applying on sharp mask filter. I don't know what it does because there's nothing written about them in the manual. Anyway, this option is to center the screen. Sometimes when you scroll, the image disappears from the screen. To bring it back, you can use this option. This option is to go back to the window where we selected the version and EC level. This is for restarting the process from beginning. And this one is for expert options. Now, when I was reviewing this program earlier, I tried using these options, but it's too complicated. And when I somehow managed to use the grab and cut tool to cut some part of the image, everything got messed up. Since we already have transparent image, there is no need to use this. This one is for cropping. When you select this, you can hold right click and select the area you wanna be visible. And by holding left click, you can move this canvas. So now what should you do? Since I already made you crop the original image into square and make the unnecessary areas transparent, you don't need to do anything. That's the best and easiest option, but you can play with the options if you want. For now, doing nothing can give me the results I need. To generate the QR code, click here. Now we have to play with some final but necessary options. This size option is for width and height of your result QR code. By default, it generates results with 294 pixels width and height, but it's small. If you wanna put the QR code on banners, dresses, or any bigger places, use 1,000 or 2,000 pixels width and height, but for normal use, 500 is the best. If the scale is less than or equal to one, the new size parameter will be ignored, so let's make it two. That's it. Now click on, okay, select the type you want for the result image. I am gonna go with PNG. Put a name and save it. Now you have to wait for some time because there is no progress bar for this. It will take some time according to your system's power, but you don't need high-end PC for this. That's it. It took around 10 seconds. Let's open it in Image Viewer. As you can see, it looks amazing. If you are watching this video on a PC screen, try scanning it, it should work. But it will be hard to scan on small screens because you can see how detailed it is. It'll become too compressed on small screens. To make it compatible for small places, we have to decrease the version. Five is default, so let's make it a little more realistic by using sixth. Now generate, the setting are already set. Since it was small, it took less time than before. And here we go. You can see the difference. Now let's try it with an image of a real person. Yeah, it looks amazing. And what about smaller? It doesn't look bad, actually. So thank you for watching. It's getting hard running this channel all by myself. I need editor. Please, someone sponsor me. Anything is fine. Just sponsor me. Now watch the video on the right side to create an image, which looks genuine, but secretly, it's a Trojan and can crash the PC when opened. See you soon.